Hi everybody, so I was asked to think about an emergency pumping system that could be built from local materials in an emergency situation. And of course the heart of any pumping system is its valves, because the valves control fluid flow, they allow flow in only one direction, and quite possibly the simplest valve is check valve. And check valve can be a whole load of things, it can be a flap of rubber, it can be a ball, it can be a spring with a plunger, a whole range of things can make a check valve. Now check valves operate because they only allow water flow in one direction, when the water flows in one direction the pressure of the water opens the valve, when the water flow reverses the pressure on the valve shuts it. Now ball types are stunningly easy to construct, particularly if you have some of these. These are ping pong balls. They've chosen a ping pong ball because a ping pong ball fits really neatly in a standard fitting. This is a 40 millimeter plastic fitting or three quarters of an inch. If we pop that ball in there, and this is actually a coupler, so it's meant for joining two pipes, then there's a little flange in there that the ball will sit against. So as the water comes up, it will open that. As it goes down, it will close it. Now it would work just like that, but it'll work even better if we put a rubber o-ring. This again is a standard plumbing fitting meant for exactly this job, so surprise surprise that o-ring fits in there really rather neatly. Then we drop the ball in, now valve is actually nearly made. What we need is a way of stopping the ball going all the way up. We need a block to it that still allows water flow and of course we need to connect it to the pipe. So I've got a bit of pipe, a bit's going to go in there so it can be connected and of course the next bit is going to go in there. That bit we don't shove all the way down because if we shove it all the way down we will trap the ball. You put it to a position where the ball can actually just lift and that acts as a stop. Now it will lift against that pipe and of course that is going to unblock it. So what we need to do is create a path and we create a path by drilling some holes. Once you've drilled some holes and cut them out, you get this kind of castled effect. Now when the ball sits in there, of course, there's a path for the fluid to flow. The water can get round these holes that we've just created, but it still acts as a stop for the ball. So we're actually nearly done. We've got our o-ring in there, we pop it on there, we put our ball in there, and we pop that in there. And that pretty much is the valve done. The only thing we've got to do now is glue it together. And this stuff, of course, is a solvent well some um, plastic pipe and it glues together with this stuff, solvent weld cement. Here in the UK we use Floplast, in the US they use a different system but it's still the same principle and all we do with this is paint it on here, stick it in, make sure the ball can still move and we're finished. So I've made two of them and I've drawn an arrow on to show the direction because when they're in series like that then they will pump. we can give them a quick test just by blowing down it. If you blow, no problem. You try this way. <laughs> Let's give it a go and you'll see what I mean. Or you could go and you can feel it working. But there you go. That's how to make two very simple check valves. They probably cost, I don't know, 25 pence each or something. They were ridiculously cheap. Now we need to arrange them into an actual pump, but they are the heart of the system and the first thing you need to be able to build. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.